how to apply. So first you go to atrium916.com forward slash TV. That's where you'll be able to apply. So click on the button apply. You'll have another page and it will be a simple form that you just fill out. And then you put that link to the video. Uh, give a link to the video. It can be unlisted. It can be password protected. But do make sure that we have access to that video so we can watch it and then review it and consider it for the program. What's really important for people to consider when they are applying? We will review your video and just to check it for quality. And what does that mean, quality? We want to make sure that the sound is good. There's no music playing in the background. And if it, there is music, that is your music and you have a release for it. If there's anybody else in your video that you have assigned talent release for that. If there is art in your video and it is not yours, or even if it is yours, you have to state that this is yours. Um, also, make sure that if you're filming on your phone, that it is not vertical. Um, we want it to be horizontal so it fits on broadcast TV. We're going to be putting here on the page on atrium916.com forward slash TV. There will be some resources for you to learn what are best practices when producing video content. K through 12 enrichment content is really what we are looking for. Um, we want this to be content that is engaging, that is kind, that cares about the environment, but also is very calming and um, something that a parent would feel comfortable in having their child watch. Um, we want it to be all about creativity, good nuggets that you wouldn't think to Google. For example, it might be how do you turn your paint that you have at home into uh, chalk paint? It might be how do you make a certain dish that we don't know? It can be in multiple languages. Just give us the transcript. <laughs> we don't have a big staff to um, really be able to translate everything. Um, it can be really anything. It can be sock puppets that are telling us a little history lesson. As long as it is something positive, kind, um, you're not violating any federal or state laws and you are not violating anybody's rights um, and that you have all releases to people and things in it. So. What should an artist's expectation be after they submit something to you? Are they going to hear back or is it going to be like a, a void? When you submit the content, we're going to review that video um, and we're going to look for, is the sound good? Is, are any copyrights violated? Um, is this something beneficial? Does it match what we're looking for? If it is a yes and it passes quality, then it will move into the creative uh, phase. We will email you back. If it doesn't, we will email you back saying, thank you for your submission. This is why we couldn't move it forward. We will refer you to some resources and you are welcome to submit again. Um, after that, if it does move forward to the next stage, then it goes into the creativity stage. The creativity stage is when we're going to try and fit it into uh, any one of our 20 episodes. So this is a TV series with 20 episodes, 25 minutes each. And we're going to try and match all the content to put it together. Once we've found that and we've locked picture, locked picture means that, okay, we've decided where every piece goes, this is it. Um, we will email you saying, congratulations, now we want to send you payment. Yeah, let's talk about that. So payment uh, is obviously the, the primary goal of this besides creating uh, meaningful educational content, right? So how do creatives get paid and what should they expect in terms of a, a dollar value? Okay, great question. So make sure in the form that you put in your correct PayPal email because that is how we're going to be paying you is through PayPal. You will get an email saying your content is approved, we are going to be submitting payment. Um, at that point, we're going to ask you to uh, sign this license agreement. We're paying $2 per second per approved content. So that means if you give us five minutes of content, that is $600. Uh, we will only be able to pay per creative up to five minutes, meaning up to $600 per creative, because we want to spread out these funds as to as many creatives as possible. That's, that's great to hear. So basically, just to clarify, the creatives are still going to own the content. Um, and it will always be theirs. It will be th theirs to, to resell if they wanted to down the road as well, correct? Right. Us paying you, we're not buying the content from you. We want you to have the right to keep your content. What we are doing is we're licensing. We're asking the permission to use this content in this TV series program, and that is the agreement you're going to be signing with us. If we are able to sell the TV program again, this leaves us an opportunity to pay creatives again. And that is our goal here, that we want to make sure that we find ways that we can constantly pay creatives to do what they do best. Thank you so much, Shira, for uh, helping put this together. We really appreciate it. And uh, to the creatives out there, thank you so much for your hard work, your perseverance, and uh, best of luck with your submissions, and uh, get them in as soon as possible. Thank you so much. And I really look forward to seeing the submissions and seeing just how awesome and creative Sacramento is.